All right, students, I'm closer to the creek area, right over here in back of Nimrod uh, Park fishing place and I'm going to go down into the foliage here way down and start to use your eagle eyes because I found a snail look at him he's got his head out his antenna are out can you see him yeah. I don't know if he's a grove snail or not. Looks similar, but not as bright. What do you think? I was so excited. He's very little. I'm going to put my pinky beside him. So you can see he's about the size of my fingernail. Very small. It was such a nice surprise to find him. I was looking at uh, these foliages here. This reminds me of the buttercup foliage. I'll have to check back and see the ranunculus. And then this foliage over here looks like wild strawberries, but I don't think it is. It grows like them too. I don't know. It has a yellow blossom over here. That yellow blossom goes to that strawberry leaf. And I found more of the spring beauties by the creek. And they have like grass-like foliage. If you'll notice, it's very thin, thin leaves, like pieces of grass, sort of. Oh, I'm betting getting pickered a little bit. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I thought you should see in this area. Huh? Oh, I'm right under an autumn olive. Now I'm going to bring it up uh, over here. Can you see the silvery foliage? If you look in the back of the leaves, it's silvery looking. Okay. And it's getting the blossoms that also remind you of honeysuckle. There it is. I'm hearing all kinds of... The new growth on the rose, the wild roses, is pretty. Can you see that? It has a burgundy look to it. So as it's growing its new foliage, you can see that pretty color. Unfortunately, it grows more pickers, too. Ooh. What is this? Hmm. This has almost a square stem, and it has, uh, ooh, maybe a type of viburnum. I don't know. I'll have to look that one up. Wow. Look at that. Up, up, up. It's woody. I'll have to try and figure that out. How do we figure out something we don't know? We look at the leaves. Okay. Looks like a compound leaf branching into three pieces. It shoots out uh, several from one area. There's thorns on this. And you see the thorns. Wow. This is thorny. The stem is woody. Where is it growing? Is it growing in a dry area, a forest, or near water? Where something grows helps you figure out what it is, too. Oh, that'll be a fun one to try and figure out.
Yeah. I see a little wild barberry over here. Do you remember wild barberry? It also has thorns. Its leaves do not look anything. These are spoon shaped, more spoon shaped. It also has thorns and is woody. This has alternate growth. This also. Boing, boing. Hmm. Is it spinning around the stem a little bit? Yes. That's another thought. Not as many plants do that. They spiral up the stem. And this one does. It starts on the left, goes to the right, goes behind, and then back in front. It's spiral growth. That's another helper to tell. It's not just alternate, it's spiraling up the stem. Oh cool, that will help identify it. I'm just gonna walk over here a little bit. You can see it has lovely paths to walk on by the creek. And I'm gonna walk this, this way just to show you some more of the spring beauties. They're kind of dotting the forest floor here, just sprinkling God's beauty. Oh, here's another one. I wonder if it's a, a, a type of raspberry. Could be. Could that be a raspberry? Ah, oh, hadn't even thought about that. Raspberries have pickers. Hmm, I didn't know they spiraled. Okay, now, whoa, what are you? You're autumn olive, yes. I can tell by your silvery foliage. There's a lot of autumn olive up here. It is an invasive species. So of course, all these little flowers are gonna make a burry. And then they're gonna spread their seeds. Down here, you can see the skunk cabbage is growing ever so nicely. There are fern seeds, a certain type of fern makes these seeds, seed heads. So soon you should be able to see Let's just double check. You should see the fern foliage growing too soon. But I don't see any yet. Maybe you'll do with your eagle eyes. Okay. And I wanted to look at this plant. I wasn't sure what it is. It could be uh, related to, I'm not sure. It's fuzzy, but it has teeth on its edges. I'm still watching that one. I don't think it's a type of Aragonon, the, um, the flea bane. Has similar attributes, though. Ooh, look at this mucky area over here. Different plants would grow in this. Oh, is that a little yucky? Look, I think there's a water plant growing up here. I'm gonna hover over it. I'll see if I can look that one up. I don't think it's, um, there's a mayflower that looks similar to that, but I'm not sure that's it. Oh, I see Jack in the pulpit over there. Ooh, use your eagle eyes. Jack, I'm gonna step over this muck. Here's Jack. Let's, let's, there he is. He's a beauty. And he's growing in all these little seedlings. And those seedlings are um, jewelweed. And they're gonna grow nice and big. And this vine looks like honeysuckle to me, only at the base of the vines, it looks more like oak leaves. Hmm. It's 
See it? How those leaves look like oak. Some good lichen over here. I know you guys like lichen. Oh yeah. Whew, I'm gonna be muddy today. Looking over here. Remember, if you ever get uh, poison ivy, once the jewel weight is bigger, you can crush those leaves up and oh, rub them on that poison ivy to help with the rash. Okay. Uh, Indian inkberry is another. Oh, I see some mustard. The wild mustard is here. The brassia. Not might might be saying his family wrong there. Okay. Let's see. This looks like honeysuckle coming up to me. And it has a little bit of oaky leaves at the bottom, but not so much as that other variety. Look how this one's coming up. Reminds me of ranunculus leaves. Look at that curled leaf there, opening up so nicely. I'm also trying to find a wood anemone, but I don't think this is it. There, I think this is Indian inkberry here. See how the red is going through it? Wavy leaves. Looks a little like burdock, but it's not fuzzy. It's smooth. Uh, I do not think you eat those leaves. I'll double check. And I'm going to stop here for now. Here's another Indian inkberry. Oh, here's a fern coming up.